Hello everybody. I'm Matthias your virtual travel guide, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I invite you on a journey to explore the world, one incredible destination at a time. This time, we're diving deep into the heart of Tuscany, a city brimming with stunning architecture, rich history, and a world-renowned culinary scene. Welcome to Florence, Italy, the cradle of the Renaissance. Over the next two days, we'll navigate the narrow cobblestone streets of this magnificent city, feast on authentic Florentine cuisine, visit art galleries housing some of the world's most famous masterpieces, and immerse ourselves in the unique culture that can only be found here. From hidden gems to iconic landmarks, I am here to help you experience the best of Florence, even if you're short on time. So sit back, grab a cappuccino, and let's get this Florentine adventure started. Day 1. As the plane descends, the first sight of the Tuscan landscapes, rolling hills, vineyards, olive groves, is truly breathtaking. As we touch down in Florence, there's an immediate sense of excitement. The city exudes an almost tangible energy, echoing with the sounds of bustling cafes, lively marketplaces, and the melodic chatter of Italian. Our exploration starts at the heart of the city, Piazza del Duomo. Surrounded by iconic structures, this square is an awe-inspiring spectacle of art and architecture. The crowning glory is, of course, the Cattrail di Santa Maria del Fiore. The striking green, pink, and white marble panels of its exterior, along with its red-tiled dome, a masterpiece by Brunelleschi, are just the appetizers to the visual feast inside. Just a stone's throw away, you'll find the Baptistry of St. John, renowned for its magnificent bronze doors. Adjacent to it stands Giotto's Campanile, the freestanding bell tower. Its panoramic views from the top are worth every step of the climb. But Florence isn't just about stunning architecture. It's also a paradise for foodies. Start your day with a traditional Italian breakfast at a local cafe. A simple cornetto, that's a croissant to you and me, and a robust cafe, would set you up perfectly. For lunch, head over to the bustling Mercato Central where you can sample all kinds of Italian street food. And when the sun starts to dip, it's time for a hearty bistecca alla Fiorentina, a Tuscan-style T-bone steak, at a traditional trattoria. Let's not forget the finale, a scoop or two of creamy, dreamy gelato from a local gelateria. Just the thought of it is making my mouth water. So, as you can see, our first day in Florence is all about immersing ourselves in the city's artistic wonders and culinary delights. But don't worry, we've only just begun. Stay tuned for more from this magical city tomorrow. Good night. Day 2. Day 2 in Florence, and it's time to dive into the city's rich artistic heritage. We start our day at the Uffizi Gallery. The building itself, a grand ducal palace of the Medici family, is a work of art. Inside, it's a paradise for art lovers, housing one of the world's most significant collections of Italian Renaissance artwork. Walking through the Uffizi's labyrinthine halls, were greeted by masterpieces from giants of art history. Botticelli's, The Birth of Venus's, Leonardo da Vinci's, Annunciation, and Caravaggio's, Medusa, are just a few that captivate and inspire. From Uffizi, we make our way to the Academia Gallery, home to one of the most famous sculptures in the world, Michelangelo's, David. This stunning marble statue, standing at over 17 feet tall, is a symbol of strength and youthful beauty. The Academia also houses a collection of Michelangelo's other works, alongside paintings and sculptures from various periods of art history. As the day gives way to a stunning Tuscan sunset, there's nothing more enchanting than an evening stroll along the Arno River. The highlight of this riverside walk is the Ponte Vecchio, a medieval stone arch bridge that has stood the test of time. It's more than just a bridge, it's a symbol of Florence, lined with glittering jewelry shops that add to its unique charm. Of course, no day in Florence is complete without sampling some of the region's famous wines. A visit to a local Enoteca is a must. Try a glass of Chianti Classico or Brunello di Montalcino, both famed reds of Tuscany. Sip, savor, and drink in the ambiance of this remarkable city. That wraps up our second day in Florence. Art, history, scenic beauty, and fine wine. What more could you ask for? But stay tuned. There's still more to come on our Florentine journey tomorrow. Ciao for now. Looking back at our two days in Florence, it's truly been a journey through time, exploring the cradle of the Renaissance, discovering centuries-old masterpieces, 
and delving into the rich tapestry of Tuscan culture. The food, the art, the history, the vibrant nightlife, and of course, the charming streets of Florence have all been highlights of this unforgettable trip. If you're planning a similar trip, my advice is simple, take your time. While we packed a lot into our two days, Florence is a city that invites you to slow down, to savor, and to immerse yourself in its captivating atmosphere. And remember, the beauty of travel lies not just in the places you visit, but also in the people you meet, the food you taste, and the stories you gather along the way. If you've enjoyed this journey through Florence, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your fellow travel enthusiasts, and hit that subscribe button for more travel adventures around the globe. We've got a whole world to explore together, and I'm thrilled to have you with me on this journey. A huge thank you to everyone who's watched and joined in on this adventure. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. What was your favorite part?